So be very graceful when you tell me how it tastes. My feelings will be hurt. So I'm in the Dollar Tree just now, and a man says, oh, he took up a thing of paper plates, and he's like, oh, these used to be 40 for a dollar. Now they have 30 for a dollar 25. Can you imagine, man? All I know is I literally died in that line, and I'm not even sure why that was so funny, because, like, I know that it's more. Hi y'all, literally sitting at the window trying to rebraid my hair. I washed it a couple of days ago. Actually, a lot of days ago I washed it, but I washed it with the braids in there. So right now I was trying to like redo the braids in the front, but I think I'm gonna end up redoing some of the ones in the back too. Just to freshen it up a little bit. I feel like from where I'm standing it's not terrible, but like I just wanna freshen it up some. But snow days are so exciting when you are home. Oh, it's so overexposed. This morning at 5 a.m. when I woke up, because Mr. couldn't find his phone, at 5 a.m. we were in the apartment struggling to find his phone, but everything was covered. So they've done a really good job with like clearing things up. Normally, normally if I'm home, he'll come back on the little break that he gets in the morning. But this morning when he was leaving, I told him, don't even bother, like, coming back. Mainly because the roads are bad and everything. And then it's probably going to take him a longer time to get here than to spend the time out of the, out of, like, the three, four hours that he has to then go back. is like, a lot. So I told him not to come back. And he thought that it was a good idea, too. But, um, I'm just here, randomly. Decided to take my braids out and like redo them just so they're fresh and probably stick a wig on to be completely honest I think I have something delivered downstairs. Let me check and see if it is It feels so fresh inside here in terms of like There is no clutter because I made the executive decision to go ahead and take down the Christmas tree Oh, my sister's texting me. What did I say I was gonna do? Check to see what was delivered. If it's what I was expecting. I wanted to go back to the Dollar Tree. Maybe I should do that because I made this last night. But this is for inside here. So I wanted to go back and see if I could get one. Get some more things to make one for the kitchen table. Is that like super important right now? No, to be completely honest. But um, do I like having it here? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I was thinking I would go back to the Dollar Tree and get some more greenery to make one of that. So that one would be for pretty much all year. And obviously the Christmas looking one would be for the Christmas time. I literally came on here to see what was delivered. I think it might be the Rit dye. Definitely was delivered today. Oh, and some coconut powder. So I'm going to go downstairs and get that. But do I want to just take the same trip to go to the Dollar Tree? And then when I come back, get me more my pajamas. I'm gonna have to change. All right, I'll do that. It's okay. Oh, I don't know. I need to figure it out. Oh, this. Okay, I'm gonna just save the video and like include it because I'm gonna try and show it to you guys from like on the. But like that's not working out. So I'm gonna save the video for my Insta stories and I'm gonna insert it here. Like what outside looked like this morning. Man, it feels great to not have to be at work today. And that. So that was nice. This boy that I went to high school with. Um, to get up on himself to like start messaging me on Instagram or whatever and for me it's fine and everything until you start getting like weird or whatever you know like now the conversation is to the point where it's like a little bit weird I'm not gonna lie and I just feel like now this is the point where I like stop responding you know because like what, what you gotta be weird for anyways yeah I woke up earlier and I made some breakfast I really need to start working out at home so maybe I'll oh I'll figure that out for today. It's already 12.57. I don't know. Maybe if I put some workout clothes on, some leisure on, I like feel motivated to work out. And maybe I'll want to. I don't know. We'll see. But I need to see if the items were delivered on the back porch or if they left it on the front porch. Doesn't see anything. I'm gonna check downstairs. If it's not in the front, I'll just wait until I decide if I'm gonna go outside to go pick it up in the back because I'm not going back there right now, especially not how outside is looking. 
I can't even imagine how it looked out here before, but obviously my landlord does a really good job at like cleaning things off and making sure that it's like safe for us. I feel like when I think about things like this, I wonder if I'm gonna be up to being a landlord at any point, because one of my dreams is buying a home. But I also feel like there is gonna have to be a man around who's gonna do all of these things, because honestly, I don't know if I could wake up early and come shovel off so much snow for my tenants. Oh my God. Hi y'all, so I woke up and I have a few things that I planned out that I wanted to get done today. Instead of going to the gym today, I was thinking within that time I could go to the laundromat because I have a few things that I need to wash and normally we would just drop them off and just pick them up or whatever. Obviously that comes at a cost and the laundry bag is big and I figured since I'm home, I could indeed go and wash those instead. But if I'm going to do that, I literally have to go now. But I'm also going to have to cut the thing in half because the bag is big. So I'm going to have to see. Hi, y'all. Hours later. So I didn't end up going to the laundromat. I made two trips and normally we will drop them off. But I'm like, you know, since I'm here, I might as well just go over there and do them. And that gets me outside too. So we canceled the gym for today or I thought we did. If we didn't, then we're going to end up going after 6 p.m. I don't know if I want to do that anymore. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to get out of it and then we'll just pick up tomorrow like we didn't leave off anywhere. So I went to laundromat, washed the clothes and everything. And I haven't even taken them out of the bag yet. I orchestrated it in a way where... Once he would come home on his break, he would be right there to help me fold the clothes and I ended up working out perfectly. Chef's kiss. Anyways, um, so we did that and then we had lunch together or separately, but together still. And then um, he had to leave for work and I was just here. I ended up being on the phone with my sister for an extended period, finally filling and polishing the one nail. But at this point, I should have just gone through and refilled everything. But they're not an issue so I didn't even bother. I ended up doing some work on a wig that I had that still didn't work out the way how I wanted it to. I found and bought it on AliExpress and what they advertised was not actually what I got and I'm kind of mad. How do I get my money back? I don't know because the return policy is not like Amazon so it's safe to say that from here on out I might stick to Amazon. But I have also bought wigs on AliExpress before and it didn't have that much of an issue. However right now I'm trying to make some sweet and sour chicken. I've had the sweet and sour chicken sweet and sour sauce for a hot little minute and never ended up using it and I'm trying to make the chicken without actually is it foggy no I'm trying to make it without actually frying it so I seasoned it I put some what is that again paprika I put some garlic powder I put some smoked paprika I put some of this on there of course I put some salt and that was pretty much it for the seasoning but i figured the paprika would have given it a richer color and then i would add the sauce to it i'm not sure when to add the sauce but i also was being lazy and not doing it the way how i seen them do it on youtube because i was not in the mood to use so much oil to like fry i'm trying to stay away from everything fried to be completely honest but i was also being very lazy when i decided not to fry it and so i'm trying to do it to do it the way how i'm doing it right now which is not frying it and just like pan tossing it or whatever. And then I'm gonna add the sauce to it. So I just texted I just texted Mr. and I'm like, listen, I'm trying to make this sweet and sour chicken for the first time. So be very graceful when you tell me how it tastes. My feelings will be hurt. Alright? Because this is my first time. I don't know if the next time I'll actually do it how they do it. And I quite like the taste of sweet and sour chicken. But um that just seems like a process. And I like cooking, but I don't love cooking to the point where I'm going to go to the extent of doing all of that stuff. No, I don't like it that much. My friend saw my, my Christmas thing. I know, I know, but it's, you know, it's cute. That's why it's still on the table. And it adds a bit of something without, you know, just leaving the table bland. Because obviously, I don't really have a centerpiece for the table for the months when it's not Christmas. So since Christmas, when I made that, I've really just been obsessed. But I think I need to go to the Dollar Tree and get something else. So I'm not using that one. But there's no time to do that right now. So maybe tomorrow I will do that. I don't know. We will just have to see. Maybe I'll put that on my to-do list for tomorrow. I feel very proud that I was able to get up and go do the laundry today. Because I'm not going to lie. These cold days, it's the hardest thing to actually get up and do anything at all. Um, remind me tomorrow at 10 a.m. to go to the Dollar Tree to buy the flowers for the centerpiece. Tonight is trash night. So I actually need to hurry up and pack up the trash. 
so that could go outside oh i feel like this really is the last of this candle here i'm gonna burn it until i literally cannot anymore however because they were very expensive but i need to also pack up the trash so i can bring it downstairs so when mister tells me that he's downstairs i can hand it to him so he can throw it out so i need to see everything that's here that is indeed trash but um that's really all i have going on right now that's all i did today and now i'm cooking the food so yeah we didn't go to the gym but i burnt quite a few calories it's telling me to take a 16 minute walk maybe to close the exercise ring absolutely no we're not doing that today's not that day today's a rest day we'll pick up tomorrow and the day after